Thank you. Okay, so let's see if I can um, have the shared. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming today. Um, again, my name is Sue Swenson. I'm a senior HR generalist for Fujifilm Dymatics up here in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Uh, we're going to start today, we'll talk a little bit about who we are and, and what we make and why Fujifilm might be the perfect fit for your next career move. So we're going to start today with a little short video to see what we're all about. Fujifilm Dymatics is a wholly owned subsidiary of Fujifilm Corporation. Dymatics is tucked into the beautiful hills of Lebanon, New Hampshire. I'm Jeff Horton, Vice President of Operations for Fujifilm Dymatics. People often hear the name Fujifilm Dymatics and wonder if we manufacture film or cameras, which is certainly how Fujifilm, our parent organization, built its initial reputation over the past century. Today, Fujifilm has evolved into a $25 billion technology company with operating subsidiaries in virtually every corner of the globe. Fujifilm Dymatics is one of those operating subsidiaries located here in the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region of New Hampshire. Dymatics is the world leader in digital printing for the industrial marketplace. It is our job to create print heads, assemblies, components, and systems designed to jet a wide range of fluids that can be applied in precise amounts onto all types of flexible and non-flexible surfaces. Our devices enable the printing of things such as billboards, car seats, clothing, and ceramic tile. Dymatics customers can even print DNA for medical applications or metals required in the manufacture of those cell phones we all love to use. Our growth has been spectacular and we're only just getting started. Many more large diversified industries like packaging, textile, 3D part fabrication, electronics, and biomedical are all turning to our technology for breakthroughs they can use in their respective fields. To sustain our growth, we need the best and the brightest to choose Fujifilm Dymatics as their employer of choice. Our people are easily our number one asset. None of this would be possible without them. Hi, my name is Katherine Thurston. I am a quality engineer at Fujifilm Dymatics. I've been employed here in Lebanon for about one year and it has been very exciting for me. It has been a life-changing experience. I really like the fact that the recruiting team takes the time to pick the right people for the right position and I feel very blessed to be part of this team. Um, Fujifilm is very family oriented. I am able to spend time with my family. I'm able to work really hard with a very exciting team. To enhance our partnership with our employees, we strive to offer a healthy work environment that promotes individual responsibility and growth, a collaborative spirit, and an atmosphere that encourages learning, professional development, and achievement. Hi, my name is Jeff Landry. I came to Fuji uh, as a clean room tech. So since then, I've been promoted to the weekend shift lead position. Uh, I've been able to use a lot of my previous experience in, in sales and you know, personal development to bring a unique skill set to the table in the manufacturing world. They have a great plan to develop employees. They have a lot of different opportunities to, to grow within the company. Here at Fujifilm Dymatics, we want everyone to feel proud of their work and fulfilled by the products we deliver worldwide. We offer a competitive benefits package, a workplace that's second to none, and a sense of community. Fujifilm Dymatics supports two operating campuses, one in New Hampshire and the second one in Santa Clara, California. Plus, we sell and support precision printed products through offices in North America, Europe, Japan, Korea, China, and Taiwan. Come and see us, talk to us, get to know us. You may be surprised to find out about our many global opportunities that start right here in New Hampshire. So next I'll introduce Rick Career. He is the Director of Supply Chain here and he's going to talk a little bit about what we make and the future state of our business. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, your attendance today. Um, what I'd like to do is just walk you through a little bit about uh, inkjet technology and kind of where we see uh, key markets as we move forward uh, and how the business is continuing to grow. 
Um, right now, today, uh, we are the number one printhead supplier in the ceramic industry. If you walk into a Lowe's or a Home Depot and you pick up a ceramic tile and you turn it over, you're going to see that it's basically a, a clay substrate. Uh, it's made of sand. Um, and it's basically um, coated with a number of different layers of uh, ceramics. Uh, with that, the industry has been converting from other traditional methods of laying down the decorative coatings and the glazing, et cetera, and converting to a more controlled, less waste method, and that is industrial inkjet drop on demand. Um, we currently today own about 70% of the uh, industry globally, and that is growing as the market is now adopting newer technologies in ceramic manufacturing, moving towards utilizing printing for applying the glaze and deeper, darker colors that ultimately could not be dispensed through inkjet technology. So this is a continuously growing market for us. Um, a number of factories are now also converting to larger format uh, sizes, which is requiring more print heads as well. Um, next, another exciting market that is continuing to grow. And when I say continue to grow, we usually engage for a period of about two to three years in development with different industries. Um, 3D printing is becoming um, much more viable today from an inkjet printing technology. Um, it has had its challenges, which we've been working to overcome, uh, which are the fluids that are utilized or what we refer to as binding agents um, that actually hold the model together as it is printed. Uh, but today, uh, technology has enabled us to start to really penetrate into the market and 3D printing instead of uh, manufacturers or assemblers having to um, manufacture, let's say 15, 20, potentially 100 components to build together into one unit. Uh, now those can be basically printed as one, um, which is really exciting. So we're starting to see a lot of uh, strong growth in 3D printing. The next industry that's really taken off for us is textile. Um, Traditionally, textile has been uh, ink flooding or fluid flooding. It has been coloring of threads that are then woven. In today's day and age, that is transitioning quite rapidly to printing. So dress prints, drapes, um, all kinds of different fabrics, neckties are a really big part of the growing part of the industry. As you can see here, what it does is it enables manufacturers to basically transition from one print to another print with the push of a button at very rapid and high speeds. It reduces waste, material consumption, and continues to reduce costs. The next industry, which is a, a tremendously large industry, is packaging. Uh, you walk down the grocery market, you see juice bags, um, you see milk cartons, you see cereal boxes, cracker boxes, chip bags, you name it. Packaging is a $800 billion industry and is very rapidly adapting to industrial inkjet printing. Um, we're seeing right now about a 4% growth year over year of transition into that $800 billion industry and things are growing again, as I said, quite rapidly. Um, what we'd like to do is share a little bit with you about the process for manufacturing our inkjet heads, how they function, and how they're utilized. And Charmaine will start a, a short video for you all. With a rich tradition of creating value through innovation, Fujifilm Dymatics is a recognized leader in piezoelectric inkjet. Our New Hampshire facility, where the company was founded, proudly serves as the center of excellence for industrial inkjet applications. Producing a vast array of printhead products, this 78,000 square foot facility operates 24 seven to meet the growing demands of our worldwide customers. The defining characteristic of all Dymatics printheads is the ability to operate all jets at high frequency independently from one another with no deterioration in quality throughout a long service life. Designing in this capability begins with our proprietary inkjet modeling tools, developed over our 30 years of existence. With over 800 patents, 
Fujifilm Dymatics is constantly innovating. As an example of this, our jet design experts have created the VersaDrop jetting technology. This powerful technique allows our OEM's printers to adjust the drop size on a job-by-job -job basis to match substrate requirements, or on a jet-by-jet -jet basis to produce stunning grayscale images. Once the critical jet dimensions have been determined, our engineers select the durable materials and coatings to ensure long, reliable performance. Resin-filled carbon, with its excellent thermal conductivity and superb material compatibility, forms the body of each array of jets. Precision-etched stainless steel laminates define the pumping chambers and fluid passages. Chemically resistant plastic polyimide films are used as flexible membranes and rock trap filters. Slabs of piezoelectric crystal, known as PZT, are used to produce the pumping action. Finally, durable metal or silicon nozzle plates are added to create a print head assembly with no inherent wear-out mechanism. Print head families like Q-Class and Polaris are highly configurable. By mix and matching parts, the native drop size, nozzle properties, recirculation function, and fluid and electrical interfaces can be customized. Our Starfire, Nova, and Galaxy print heads are not only configurable, but also repairable so that our OEM customers can replace clogged filters and manifolds to ensure a long service life, even when jetting difficult fluids with heavy particles. As an integration house, all of the printhead components are sourced globally from the most competent suppliers. Each manufacturer and each component is carefully qualified by our team of supplier quality engineers to make certain each meet our exacting standards. For silicon nozzle plates, this list of qualified suppliers includes our sister facility in the heart of Silicon Valley, California, where cutting-edge Silicon MEMS micromachining technology is deployed to produce the industry's straightest nozzles. Once the printhead parts arrive from around the globe, our inspection department has the latest in metrology tools at its disposal to verify dimensional accuracy. Then, based on customer orders, Parts are kitted up and passed into the clean room. Where they are washed and prepared for assembly. A tightly controlled thickness of epoxy is applied to individual laminates before the components are precisely aligned. Pressed. and then bonded together under controlled heat and pressure. First, the PZT, membrane, and cavity plate are joined to form what we call a pre-bond, which is common to all printhead models. For Q-Class and Polaris heads, a nozzle plate assembly is created from a rock trap, multiple laminates, and a nozzle plate before attachment to the carbon body. Two pre-bonds are attached, one on either side, and the print head is ready for the addition of upstream electronics and other customizable features. For our repairable models, arrays of jets are formed by attached pre-bonds to both sides of the carbon body. In parallel, collar assemblies are produced from nozzle plates, manifolds, and collars. Then, Jet arrays are combined into collar assemblies as part of the full printhead build process. No matter which configuration, all printheads are print tested to ensure each meet our tough performance standards. The product is then prepped and packaged, ready to ship to our expanding base of worldwide customers. Our work doesn't stop once the product is delivered. Dymatics has an expansive team of field, application, and tech support engineers dedicated to making our customers successful. Using state-of-the-art tools and equipment, they perform fluid testing, imaging model development, print sample generation, technology transfer, 
and application consultation to help push the boundaries of what can be achieved with industrial inkjet printing. We also provide analytical services to help diagnose root causes when field failures occur. Together with the broadest range of inkjet models and the most comprehensive services, our OEM customers jet the most complex inks and demanding fluids in the industry. From hot melt wax ink to print barcodes on cardboard cartons, to jet solvent or UV inks to print billboards and truck wraps, to inks with heavy particles used to decorate ceramic tiles, and to aqueous inks used to produce vivid textile patterns. The EvenJet conductive silver and dielectric fluids to form functional electrical circuits and electronic displays. That's why you will find Dymatics industrial inkjet print heads everywhere, from high-tech labs around the world to the grittiest manufacturing site, and even to your local commercial bakery down the street. Fuji Film Dymatics, building businesses one drop at a time. Great. Uh, thank you, Charmaine. Um, so with that, I, uh, I hope that that gives you kind of a general understanding of how our product is manufactured. Uh, the video also gives you a glimpse into the many different elements um, of job opportunities within our organization, the environments that uh, we build our product within, uh, our laboratory capabilities, uh, et cetera. Um, so in closing, um, what I wanted to do is just share this slide with everybody uh, to just stimulate your thinking. Um, as you sit at home, uh, as you ride in your car, as you fly on a plane, as you drive by a building that has solar panels uh, mounted on the top of it. Um, all of these technologies are transitioning or have been transitioning to printed technologies from prior traditional, um, more costly, uh, more wasteful uh, applications. So as you look around at your iPad, at your OLED TV, um, these are all now becoming printed technologies, the dashboard on your car, um, the decals on your bicycle. Uh, just as you sit and look around, give it a little bit of thought. Um, chances are there's a high probability that Fujifilm Dymatics print heads produced those products that you'll see. Great. And I'll turn things back over to Sue. All right, Thank thanks Rick. So I, I want to talk a little bit about safety. I know um, with the pandemic, that's um, been a big topic for everybody. So we have done a lot of steps here to keep our employees safe. Uh, we mandate the use of masks. We do daily health screenings of employees and visitors. And Rick's team has been hard at work uh, trying to get thermometers. So every one of our employees will have their own thermometer. We also stagger the shift time to reduce the contact between people during shift change. And we've encouraged social distancing by converting meeting rooms to lunch spaces. We do extra cleaning and disinfecting in our common areas routinely, and we've redirected the, the walk flow in our buildings to help with social distancing. We also limit the amount of employees that can occupy our conference rooms, and we're using Zoom and Google for many of our meetings now, and where it makes sense, we're encouraging remote work. What's great about us? So Fujifilm Dymatics, by joining us, you'll be joining the global Fujifilm community that values innovation, sustainability, and environmental awareness. We have a great benefit package, second to none. We have day one health, dental, and vision benefits. We have a great 401k plan, and we match 100% of the first 5% that you put in, and there's no best in period for that. But there's some other things that really gets us excited. Uh, one is cake day. So every month we bring in a bunch of cakes to celebrate everyone's birthdays. We have an annual pie day and a December holiday shutdown. We now have an on-site complete fitness center for our employees to use, and we do annual family events and company picnics. We also provide free coffee, tea, popcorn, and fruit to our employees every day. And for those of you looking for a career path, uh, we have a career path program. We also offer internship abilities and also internal internships for people to get a glimpse at what other areas of the company do as well as cross-training. And we are all a very community-minded organization. 
at Fujifilm, integrity, trust, credibility, continuous improvement, and respect for the individual are the foundations on which we're built. Here's a little snapshot of us having fun over the last year. Um, we do work hard, but we also play hard too. We are especially proud of the way we make a difference in our community. We have an annual charity golf tournament. And last year we raised over $25,000 for our local community. And since its start in 1998, we've raised over $332,000 for charity. We do a lot of everyday things too. For example, we did a food drive and we raised over 300 pounds of food. And between employee donations and the company match, we were able to give almost $6,000 to our community. Uh, we had a lot of fun with our Toys for Tots Hot Wheels 1000 Challenge. We are very competitive here. And so we blew that total away and we collected over 1,700 uh, cars that we donated during um, the holiday season to Toys for Tots. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about our open positions. Uh, you can view all of our open positions on our website. And what's really neat is it has the global Fujifilm community. You'll be able to see positions posted for around the world as well. We are looking for clean room and production technicians. Uh, these are the people that make our product and they are the heart of what makes us successful. So if you have prior manufacturing experience, that's great. If you don't, we have a great uh, training team here that can help you be successful. We're looking for positions on all of our shifts and generally we start at $14 an hour, but that also depends on prior experience as well. And if you work our second and third shifts, you get a differential on top of the hourly wage. We also need a clean room maintenance technician on our first shift. So all those machines and the environments that you saw that are meticulously clean, we need people to help us keep them that way. So if you like to be on your feet and to move around, this might be a good job for you. And again, it starts at $14 an hour, depending on your experience level. All right, equipment maintenance technician. All those machines that you saw in those videos need people to help keep them running. Whether it's preventative maintenance or there's an issue that needs to be fixed, the equipment maintenance tech is on site to make sure we keep our production flow going. And we need people on second and third shift right now. It starts at $21 an hour, again, based on experience, and you do get a, differ a differential on second and third shift. So there are other opportunities as well. Like I said, you can check out the ones from our sister uh, facility in Santa Clara or any of the other Fuji companies. Uh, but as an example, we're looking for a systems engineer, a mechanical engineer, and also a manufacturing systems analyst right now. So if you want to learn more, a couple of ways, you can like us on Facebook and see how we spend our days. Uh, you can also visit our career page. Uh, if when you go to the jobs in NH and you click on the link to apply, it will actually bring you directly to this link. Uh, but if you're um, at home, you can copy down this link and go there to view our uh, positions. And we can also give you my contact information. And so that way, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us. So. What we'll do is open it up for questions. Rick is going to be here and he can help field the technical questions. So um, yeah, next step, if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you to the team from Fujifilm. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Great. Thank great, you. Great to meet you and great to have you on. And uh, we wish you well and to stay well. Thank yeah, you. You as well. Thank you. Okay.